So many of you have asked, how do I calibrate my Super Racer and get a great first layer? Well, we'll go through it step by step right now. All right, so of course, the first thing we're gonna do is turn the printer on. And I'm gonna heat the bed to 60 degrees and I'm gonna heat the nozzle to 210 or 220. All right, so now that the bed is at 60 degrees, the nozzle is at 220, we're gonna do the calibration, which is first gonna do a three or four point calibration, then it's gonna do a secondary calibration, then it's gonna do a bed mesh. So it's gonna do the initial calibration of the bed first, just to show where the bed is in relationship to the, to the level sensor. So I'm not gonna take you through this whole thing. So I'll show you when it's doing the bed mesh and then we'll, ca we'll carry on from there. All right, so you can see that it's finishing up the, the bed mesh. Again, I'm not gonna let you watch the whole thing, but I'll show you when it ends. So this is the final stage before we set the Z-height. All right, so you can see it's finishing up the bed mesh now. This will be the last point. And then what we'll do is, I'll take you to the sequence of how I adjust the, the Z-height. All right, so of course, we're gonna take off the, the level sensor. side we're gonna get a sheet of paper which is over here just a regular a4 sheet of paper we're gonna move the Z make sure the level sensor is off move the Z down can see that it's very loose as it should be. Now we'll go to adjust Z and the first few steps you want to do is 0.1 down because you want to get it close. Right now it's about 1.1, 1.2 is too much so I'm going to raise it up 1.1 and now I'm gonna start bringing it down with the 0.0125 until it just drags a little. All right, it's dragging a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a little bit of a drag. Save that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is do it again. I'm gonna go back. Move the Z, uh, Z down. I do this two or three times, just to make sure everything stays where it's supposed to. And I'm gonna give you a little secret in a moment. So this is the second time, and you can see, to me, it's a little more loose. So I'm gonna bring it down, adjust the Z. I'm gonna bring it down one more, 0.0125. And right now, you, that's perfect. To me, that's perfect. And save. All right, so we're gonna do it a third time, but this time, I'm gonna sh show you a little trick. So again, move the Z to zero. Move it down. So the third time, it should feel just like it did the second time. It should be perfect. But let's see. And it is, it's perfect. All right, but say I made a mistake and I went down another 0.0125. 
Now it's too tight, it won't move. So I want to go up. So I'm going to go up maybe three or four of the 0.0125s. It's still a little tight, I'm going to go up a couple more. Okay, so now it's loose again. Here's the trick. No matter, if you make a mistake, do it again, and you want to make sure you're always coming in the downward motion. Because there is backlash in the belts, there's backlash in the motors, there's backlash in everything that's mechanical. So you always want to make sure you finish coming down. So if you go too far and it's too tight, bring it back up all the way and bring it down again slowly until it's perfect. That's what we're going to do right here. So see, it's just it's touching again. I'm going to save it. You always want to end up coming down using the down arrow. If you go too far, bring it back up and start, with, start again. So I'm going to do it one more time. very important that messes up a lot of people this way it'll always be repeatable unless something changes of course so see now it's a little bit loose again so I'm gonna bring it down 0.0125 right there perfect save all right that's it that part is done all right so we're ready to insert the filament now this also tricks a lot of people. This is how I do it, in order so that my extruder never fails. All right, so what we do is, I'm gonna cut off a little bit at a 45 degree angle, like that. Now the important thing is, you've gotta make this as straight as possible. Don't leave it crooked, make it perfectly straight, just like that. Stick it in and it'll come out the sensor. Now what I do is I put it in the extruder, pull the lever and push it in by hand because what happens, and I feed it all the way into the, to the nozzle. What happens is if you just let it go in by itself with the automatic button, sometimes it gets hung up in the extruder particularly if it's not straight. So now you can see a little bit is coming out. That's all the way down. It's much faster and it's a lot more reliable and you'll never have a problem with your extruder. All right, so now that you've pushed the filament by hand through the extruder into the hot end, now you want to extrude 100 millimeters. So go back, go back, extrude that at 10 millimeters and hit in. That should be 100 by the way. So you can see it moving, here it's coming out. That way there you flushed out all the air from the nozzle. All right, so like I said, I've got a file here that's a square and I'm gonna print that, it's one layer, and then I'm gonna adjust it. If it doesn't look the way I like it, want it to look, I'm gonna adjust it until it does and I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, we'll hit print, hit that file, print, Let it warm up for a second. So this square is big enough so that I'll be able to see it and make adjustments as it's going along to right where I want it. Oh. All right, so you can see that it's printing the square. And as soon as it moves away a little bit, I'm gonna feel it. If it's rough, if it feels a little bit rough to me, that means the nozzle is too close to the bed and I'll be able to raise it here. If it's too high, you'll see it not adhering to the bed properly. So you want to wait a couple of seconds, wait until you can put your finger in there safely. But to be honest with you, it's looking very good right now. But I'll make some adjustments just to show you. All right, so maybe it's a little bit rough. So I'm gonna raise it a little bit. So I'm gonna hit adjust Z. And I'm gonna go up 0.05, maybe twice. Now, I want, I can, you'll be able to see the difference right on this pattern. 
If you come in close, Kylie, you might be able to see under there. See the difference in color? That means it's higher. That feels pretty good. But you can see here was a little bit rough, a little bit low. This here is looking perfect. All right, we'll stop it here for a second and then I'll show you a little bit further on. All right, so like I was saying, this looks perfect right now. And I'll show you what it looks like. Let's go up higher. Another point one. And then again, you'll see the difference. And at some point, see it's a little bit whiter now because it's higher. At some point, it's not gonna stick to the bed properly. So we'll let that go for a couple of seconds. Then I'll raise it up again. And again, this is all your preference. I mean, it's all sticking to the bed. It's how you want it to look sticking to the bed. That's what makes the difference. So that's about five or six lines. Let's raise it up another point in one. And again, you can see the color change. So this is the perfect example as to how you can adjust it to your own liking. Let that go for a second. And I'll raise it up one more time. And now it's, it's not looking so good anymore. But I'll let it go a couple of lines. Then I'm gonna move it down. Move it down. And again, you'll be able to see the difference. So when this is all done, I'll lift this right off the, the bed and you'll be able to see what the whole thing looks like. And you'll remember what we did along the way. I think I want to bring it down a little bit more. Which makes it to this level, which is what I liked originally. But I just wanted to show you how it all looks in the end. You can see it finishing up here. There we go. All right. So let me take this off and show you what it looks like. See that? It's a little bit too stuck to the bed. That's the brim. That was when it was too tight. Even this is a little bit too tight. You don't want it stuck that much, but then here we go. So you can see what we did. We raised it up, we brought it down. And again, this is probably the best part right here. But again, you're the one who has to decide how it's gonna look on the bed. And you do that by feeling it. If it's rough, it's too close to the bed. If it's too high, you know, it's too round, it's too high off the bed. So I hope that helps. And let me know if you have any questions and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Again, I want to thank my little girl Kylie for doing all this video and taking time out of her movie night to help us uh, learn a little bit something here. All right, so have a good night and we'll talk again real soon.